Hey, Brad from VFM Audio. Today, we're gonna to take a closer look at the P1 from Behringer and how you'd use it at a gig. I don't know about you, but when I'm playing guitar and singing, I tend not to move too far away from my microphone. For that reason, the wired in-ears work really well for me. It's a lot cheaper than some of the wireless systems out there. The P1 is run off a nine volt battery, can also be run off a nine volt power supply. It's what Behringer call drummer proof. You can turn it up as loud as what your in-ears will take. Uh, it's also got a built-in limiter to prevent from major audio spikes. So this is a two input monitoring system. You can run it in stereo or dual mono. Let's say you want to create a stereo mix out of your desk. You'd have two outputs out of your desk into the left and right. Let's say you could put your instruments on your left hand side and maybe your vocals on your right hand side. Then you'd have separation in your mix. So if we take a look at the front, you can see we have a 3.5 connection for our earphones. We have a signal light and a battery light indicator. We have our volume knob and a mix knob to be able to control between our left and our right input. Lastly, we have our stereo and mono button. If we flip it around to the back, you can see we have our on and off button, our power input, and our left and right XLR connector, both with sturdy locking mechanisms. On the top, we have our battery compartment. A nine volt battery fits snugly inside, but be careful not to pull the wires too hard as they can break. Flip it over to the back, we have our sturdy belt connector, and we also have a thread to be able to connect to our microphone stand. So if you're like me and you don't mind being tied down to wires, the P1 is a great solution if you want to run it in stereo or dual mono. Check out our Facebook page, also subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos on the P-Series.